Hi everyone, so I'm finally going to be doing my hair routine. I am going to take you guys with me through the next couple of days sharing with you guys the products that I use right out of the shower and then sharing with you guys how I refresh my waves after day two and day three hair. This is the shampoo and conditioner that I'm using right now. They are the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask, and then I'm also using the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. I've been liking these quite a bit. I did not purchase these myself though. I was gifted them through the detox market, but it is more of an expensive brand. And that kind of is the reason why I probably won't be repurchasing these. However, I really love Liked using them while I've had them. So my hair is still pretty wet. I need my hair to be pretty soaked whenever I add my products to my hair. I'm going in with the Curl Smith Hold Me Softly Style Balm. And I'm going to use about that much of the product. I'm not going to dilute it or anything. This product itself doesn't really have that much of a hold to it. And I find that the more hold a product has, the more I like to go in and dilute it, especially because I have more waves and not like tight ringlets. And I don't need like that much of a hold. I just really need something to define my waves and also have a little bit of a hold so they don't like fall or anything. And then whatever I have left on my hands, I like to go through and apply through the tops of my hair. I also just gave myself a haircut this morning, so I'm excited to see what my hair looks like, you know, after I cut it up, freshened it up a little bit. The next product I'm going to go in with is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Curl Activating Mousse. This has a two hold, and then the other one had like a one hold. Obviously, these are from different brands, so their scale is going to be a little bit different. But I would say that this gives me just enough hold. It is not holding as much as a gel, but I don't need a gel for my hair. That's just what I've found. I don't mind using a gel here and there, especially if I feel like my hair is not going to be doing what I want it to do. But I have found throughout the entire year that I've started my curly hair journey, I have really liked a mousse, specifically the Curl Talk mousse. So I'm going to shake this up really good. I don't really use that much of it, so that will probably be enough. And I will also dilute this too. My hair is very thin, so I really don't need that much. I only diluted a little bit like by getting a little bit of water on one of my hands. and. Now I'm going to go through with some prayer hands and scrunch, prayer hands and scrunch, other side prayer hands, and scrunch. I really try to not comb out my hair with my fingers, and I also really only comb my hair in the shower. But yeah, so this is what my hair looks like after the shower with my product in it. What I'm going to do next is move you guys into the bedroom so I can show you guys how I pull up my hair. So I've laid down my Conair t-shirt towel. I'll leave a link to where you can get this down below. So I've laid it out on my bed. I've centered myself so I'm right in the center of the towel. And then what I'm going to do is give my hair one last little scrunch, throw it on the center of the towel. But I am going to bring my hair like a little bit closer to me on the towel just so I have enough room on this side to fold it back. I'll take the piece that's closest to my forehead, I'm gonna fold that in, then fold it in a little bit over here, make sure my hair is all gathered, and then taking this end bit, folding it in just a little bit, and then bringing that in. And then I will start twisting the ends. I've made them a bit uneven. Hopefully that's not a big deal. I have to move now. Hi. <laughs> Usually I'll get up and like move to the big mirror over there, but since I'm filming, I won't. And then I will meet these two ends and just try and tie them the best I can. So that is my hair plopped. I will leave my hair up like this for 
on average about two hours. I like popping my hair for a couple of reasons. One of the biggest reasons I like plopping my hair is because I'm obviously not using any heat on my hair so I can't speed up the drying process. Plopping my hair speeds up the drying process quite a bit and it gets my wet hair out of the way so it's not like soaking my clothes or my back or anything. So that's what I really like about plopping. I feel like it does help keep the shape of my waves and I think it also does help with frizz. I know that some people will plop their hair overnight. I think it would make my hair very, very flat if I did it overnight, but I found that the two hour mark is a really good like sweet spot where I can take my hair out. It has just enough time to like air dry the rest of the way and my waves will be really nice and defined and frizz free. So yeah, I really like plopping for those reasons. I can also take a nap after my shower, which I can't really do if my hair is like down and sopping wet. So that is really nice. But yeah, I'll leave my hair plopped for about two hours and then I'll come back and show you guys what my hair looks like right out of the plop. And then I'll come back again to show you guys what my hair looks like totally dry. So I've had my hair up and plopped for about two hours now and I'm going to go ahead and take it down now. I've just been laying in my bed, reading a book very comfortably because my hair has been up. Ooh, this looks so good. I'm really, really happy I gave myself a proper haircut. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just have my hair resting. Oh my God, that looks amazing. Really, really happy. It might take about an hour and a half for it to dry the rest of the way. The only bits of my hair that kind of give me a little bit of issues after I've plopped is the hair that is right in front of my face. Don't be afraid after you take out your plop to... Try not to like touch a lot of your hair, but there was just a piece forming that I could see being like an issue frizz wise. So don't be afraid to get your fingers wet and kind of piece things back to place. But the hairs that give me the most issues are the hairs that are right in front of my face where I have like a little bit of longer bangs going on. And I just take a little bit of water and fix those up. So yeah, I just kind of get them wet and then I actually tuck them behind my ears, those little longer bangs that I have. I'll tuck them behind my ears to get them to kind of dry a little bit more nicely. So it's actually been closer to like two hours since I last saw you. I just stopped at the grocery store, so yeah. Um, but this is what my hair ended up drying like. It looks all right. I definitely think that my hair looks much better on second and third day hair, just because I feel like the first day, it's kind of like figuring it out. And then on the second day, when I kind of like revive my waves, it ends up being really nice. But yeah, you can also kind of more clearly see sort of how my hair has changed a bit. And I am getting cute little curls happening and i'm hoping that as like my journey keeps going i can get those to be a little bit more defined and a little bit more plentiful and now what i'm going to do is scrunch the crunch since i just really use mousse and that hold me softly balm my hair isn't like crunchy really but there's still some piecing that needs to be separated and stuff yeah, like that's really cute but yeah there's still like piecing that needs to be separated and i really just go through and scrunch like i was before so yeah that's what my hair looks like on its first day and it's fine like cute i really like my second day style and also my third it doesn't look great in my opinion on the first day but the second day it looks really really good and i'm very happy overall with the progress that i've made anyway and my haircut looks really good i don't know if you guys yeah i think that you guys will be able to tell but my haircut looks really good i like the technique where you just chop it 
So it's not the morning time, it's the afternoon. I've had my hair up in a bun all day. Low bun, like a low loose bun up until I had just had a shower. So I put it up in a higher bun, but we are going to take it out and reveal it. I also did sleep with it in a bun last night. And these are little uh, Kit Skitch scrunchies. I think that's how you say the brand. I was using a really, really nice scrunchie from the brand Slip that my friend Courtney gifted me for my birthday. I unfortunately lost it through my summer travels. So yeah, I actually lost two really important things when I was traveling. I lost the Tower 28 lip gloss in pink drink and I lost my Slip hair tie. Maybe one day they will magically show up. I don't know. But yeah, I just got out of the shower. Ooh, my hair is actually looking pretty good. I think I will actually do a little bit of dry shampoo today. I still use dry shampoo not as often as I used to. For today, I'm going to be using the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak unscented. I love that the Not Your Mother's brand carries a non-scented version because some of these dry shampoos feel like they need to be so stinky and they don't. I'm just going to spritz a little bit of it. I like this one because it's really lightweight but it probably wouldn't have been this oily if I styled my hair earlier this morning but I was just not I had no reason to get ready early this morning. The bottom of my hair is actually looking really good. I like using satin scrunchies because they definitely help with frizz in my opinion. What I'm going to do now is just kind of shape some of these waves. So I'm taking this continuous spray bottle full of water and I'm going to spray my hair with it and get my hair pretty damp so I can start shaping some of my hair back. This is the Curlsmith Moisture Memory Reactivator. I love this stuff. This is already a repurchase of mine, so I've already gone through an entire other bottle. I absolutely love it. So what I'm going to do is spritz this product through my hair. It is like a leave-in conditioner, but I feel like it really does a good job at redefining some of these waves again, while also making my hair soft, like continuing to keep it soft and also helps quite a bit with frizz. If I ever feel like my hair is particularly frizzy or just not doing what I want, I will spritz quite a bit of it in my hands and then get the other hand a little wet so I can kind of dilute the product, kind of spread it around. And then I will do prayer hands, specifically on places that I'm getting quite frizzy, which a little bit underneath and quite a bit on top. So yeah, this came out pretty good for my second day and I'm just going to let it kind of sit and leave it alone. There is another product that I use sometimes. It is called Mix Chicks Morning After Redefining Foam and I like this product okay. There's been times where this product has really screwed me over and then there's been times where this product has actually done a pretty good job at making my waves look a bit more defined and just much nicer on like third day or even fourth day hair but yeah i'm just going to be using the curlsmith product today just because my hair doesn't really need that much right now so this is day three hair and my hair has been up in a bun pretty much all day and I did sleep with it in a bun as well. All I'm doing today is going to go babysit. So I actually don't think I'm going to really do anything to my hair. And then we can maybe see if the Mix Chicks product will work out better for tomorrow so I could get a fourth day out of my hair. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to try and revive some of these waves. So I'm going to get my hair wet and then kind of smooth it. Just kind of lightly trying to separate any tangles I have while not like combing. The Curlsmith Moisture Memory Reactivator. And I'm going to also not dilute it, but I guess kind of dilute it with some water. And I'm going to go through and prayer hands through my hair and then we'll scrunch it up a little bit but I think that skipping the 
mixed tricks, redefining foam is a better idea and then possibly trying to use it tomorrow to see if I can get another day out of my hair. That might be, that might be a good idea. So hopefully you can see that, the difference between just a little bit of water and product between the two sides. I would not recommend this dry shampoo if you do not have very oily hair. I really like using this dry shampoo before bed and actually sleeping with it in my hair and then waking up the next morning with not oily hair. My hair has a bit more volume. I would like to put a little bit of it in my hair right now, but because I'm really just going to go babysit, I don't care if those little kids think my hair looks a little bit flat. <laughs> that doesn't bother me. My babysitting job is an overnight job. So I'm actually gonna bring the dry shampoo with me and spritz it through my hair tonight so that I can wake up the next morning with a little bit more volume and not oily roots. So that's actually what I'm gonna do tonight. My hair is fully dried, so I wanted to show you guys in some different lighting what my hair ended up looking like so yeah this is third day hair i definitely feel like my waves aren't as defined as they were yesterday but considering i didn't put dry shampoo in my hair and i only used the moisture memory reactivator i feel like my hair looks great it looks very thick it looks healthy i feel like i definitely do have some wave definition even if it's maybe not as pronounced as yesterday back for fourth day hair my hair was up in a bun last night and i've been keeping it in a bun all day it is two o'clock so i just got out of the shower i've been in bed all day since coming home from my babysitting job this morning and yeah finally got in the shower and now we're gonna take a look at this hair some of the pieces get kind of twisted up a little bit and what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of gently trying to separate them just so they don't get in any more of a knot. I actually grabbed a really wide tooth comb. This one is from Pattern. And I'm just going to kind of gently go through the ends really in particular. But this is actually helping quite a bit. Also, I did put dry shampoo on the top of my hair last night and it looks really good in my opinion the hair does not look oily it doesn't look patchy so what i'm going to do now is get my hair wet with my hairspray bottle getting it pretty pretty wet now what i'm going to do is i am going to add a little bit of my moisture memory reactivator dilute it again i'm going to run it through my hair Today is going to be the day where I pull out my mixed chicks redefining foam though. But I just wanted to get a little bit of this leave-in conditioner in for softness, shine, frizz. So last time when I used this, I got really good results and I just used three pumps of it diluted so three pumps diluted and I'm going to be doing prayer hands this is a product that i'm going to be coming back to to scrunch the crunch so after i massage this through my hair and i let it dry i'm going to be back to show you guys how I scrunch the crunch. So yeah, hair is looking pretty good. I'm going to stop touching it now, do some things while my hair dries, and then I'll be back to scrunch the crunch. So I don't know how long it's been, maybe about 30 minutes, and my hair is totally dry, and it's looking pretty good. It's looking a little flat in some areas, like especially the ends of my hair on the top. It's looking a little bit flat, but this is pretty good for it being fourth day hair. I'm going to scrunch the crunch. There is a little bit of separation and crunchiness from the Mix Chicks product, but scrunching the crunch really helps. And 
This is looking really good actually. Getting a lot of volume back in my hair. So yeah, this actually doesn't look bad at all for it being fourth day hair. And my hair on top is looking totally fine too. However, I think I'm going to sit down to film a video and I kind of want my hair to be and a half up half down so i want to use one of these butterfly clips and i'll go ahead and leave a link to them down below my friend taylor has a little online boutique and she is selling these currently on her site along with some really cute checkerboard clips that i also picked up but yeah how cute are these little butterfly clips i think i'm going to use the i think i'm going to use the little yellow one biggest trick i can tell you is to do one side at a time and gently work on separating your top half from your bottom half. It definitely helps that we spent a little bit of time earlier separating the hair a little bit to avoid some of these knots, but I feel like it's hard to avoid them all the time. So yeah, now that my hair is all together, I'm just going to work on smoothing out the top. One side is always a little bit more kind of frizzy than the other. And that is usually this side for me. It's usually always a little bit more frizzy and like just difficult to work with. But now I'm actually going to repeat a few of the steps that we did earlier before I did my hair and a half up half down. So really I'm just gonna be doing a little bit of water Kind of help with these frizzy bits and then to help even more moisture memory reactivator to the rescue and that's just to help a little bit more with these pieces so yeah i think that looks pretty cute i'm going to turn around and show you guys what it looks like from the back pretty cute in my opinion so today is the fifth day that I'm going to be getting out of my hair and tomorrow is going to be wash day. So this will be the last time you guys see me for this session of hair. I think that if I didn't want to do a slick back bun, I could easily gather up all my hair, twist it around, grab one of my big claw clips and gather up all the hair like that. So super cute this is something that i would do all the freaking time very easy and it looks cute but i am going to show you guys how i achieve my slick back buns so i am going to be brushing through my hair i try and do it really gently always start on the ends so because i am going to keep my hair in a middle part i'm going to add some castor oil right where the part is and yeah, I'm just doing this to kind of protect my hairline because I always wear my hair in a middle part pretty much and I just want to protect it. I'm going to get my hair, mainly the top of it, generously wet. The top and the underneath, really. Going to gather up my hair, taking my brush and I'm going to be brushing all the hairs back. Now that all my hair is nice and slicked down, I'm going to be adding a little bit of gel. So really just a small amount, and I'm also going to be diluting it, and I'm going to run it through the tops of my hair and getting a little bit on the bottom. And then I'm going to start gathering up my hair and we're going to be using this Olivia Garden brush to have everything slicked back. So now my hair is looking really good, all slicked back. The best hair tie for this kind of look, in my opinion, is the little spirally ones. So what I'm going to do now is just start twisting up my hair. I'm going to wrap it around itself. Take the hair tie, try and get it as close to the base of the bun as possible. I'm only going to do two wraps and then I go in with a scrunchie and wrap that around too. Yeah, that is how I do my slick bun. Sometimes I go in and redo it. Sometimes I also get my hands wet to 
lay down any flyaways. But yeah, that is how I do my slick buns. And that is going to be the last part of today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching this whole video and how I do my hair start to finish from wash day to last day. If you guys have any other questions about my hair routine, please leave them down below. And also let me know if you guys have any tips or product suggestions because I'm still on this journey. I'm only a year into doing my hair this way. So I would love to hear what you guys think down below. But that is going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do so. And hopefully I will see you next time.